Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Uh, Tradeify is the fastest growing job management uh, software in the country at the minute. Now, I've been using Tradeify personally uh, for, for Greenhawk for over a year now. We used to use different software um, and it just doesn't compare. Now, I used it as a 15, uh, 14 day trial, sorry, and it's completely free. It didn't cost me anything. I was recommended uh, to it by another another guy that I know. Uh, recommended it, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, and I've never looked back. It is such a good bit of kit that you can track jobs, you can do all your quoting, your estimate, estimating, all that sort of stuff. The amount of time that it saves me on a job is ridiculous. Even to to extensions. We set up all our terms, okay? So if we're doing, um, let's say we're building a garden wall, we put all our meterage in, and all you gotta do is just alter the numbers. So if you're coming out for a five meter wall, put five in, done. It's so, so easy. The other thing that it's now doing is now linking up to Google Calendar as well. So you can, you know, if a job comes through, you can instantly put it on and go, yeah, okay, that's on, 4th of October, 5th of October, whatever, 2023. Done, it's in, it's already there, sorted for you. Such a, such a brilliant thing, and I'm not just saying it, it is genuinely a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Now, you can use it on like your iPad like I do, you can use it on your phone, You it doesn't have to be an Apple, works on Android, you can use it on, uh, on your computer at home, it is brilliant. Um, like I said, I'm not going to endorse something I don't use uh, myself, but like I say, I've been using it for over a year and we've never looked back. I've used other ones, nowhere near as good. There's a lot of functions on there that, that I don't use it to its full potential, going to be honest. There's loads more stuff that I could do with it and I just don't need to. At the minute, it's you know as the business growing and growing, it's, it's all there, it's all ready for me. So go and check them out. Like I say, I, I did, like, like you guys, do your 14 day trial and then after that if you like it use the promo code ghawk50 you'll then get it for three months 50 percent off so like i said i'll leave the link below but it is it's one of them things that i can't stress enough the amount of time it saves on the older system when we were using that we oh, do you know what it was just it done my head in i'm going to be honest when you look back at it now it's ridiculous because we were putting details in and to doing one extension quote for example it could take us probably two nights two evenings of all the directors round sorting it out now once we've set all the terms we can smash that out in probably an hour something like that once we've it, like I say once you've set it all up properly it is a godsend the other thing that you can do as well saying that is that once you've done your quote and they've accepted it because there is a clear accept and decline once they've done that you can then obviously go through your diary book them all in once you've done your job you can transfer that quote to a invoice and even so if you've gone i don't know let's say there's some additional work that you've done you can add that on nice and easy you haven't got to redo the whole quote it's just brilliant so you can send that off to them then after that you can also set up uh, credit card payments as well via there and you pass on all the surcharges to the client if you like uh, you can set up payment reminders because let's be honest we all know people sometimes they need a little bit of a nudge to uh, like come on you know we've got bills to pay like everyone else so it is great for that and like i say go and check them out i'll leave the link in the description uh, below for 14 days even if you just go and try it, it it's not going to cost you anything just just set it up have a bit of a play with it i will do a full video on it um but i, I can't show you my version because i've got a lot of clients details but i will show you a version of it once i've been sent it and then i can go through with you how easy it is but yeah so that's that's something like i say sponsored by tradeify today um right today's video we are, well Jack's going to be doing his first consumer unit. It's something he's been wanting to do for quite a while and we just never really had the job that we can do it on. But obviously on this rewire that we're on, perfect for him. It's all set up. If you watch the previous video, all the board's on. It's all ready to go. All the, all the cables are all in, all labelled up. And it's now down to Jack to do all the RCBOs, all the wiring in 
and all the rest of it. So let's go and see what he's up to uh, and see how he gets on. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, subscribe as usual. Uh, leave your comments below and uh, we'll go and see what he's up to. So tight space, me and Jack are in here. He's got me under the stairs. I have got nowhere to escape, so there's nothing I can do. Um, right, Jack, so what I've done here, right, I've labelled all these up. So yep. this is the order I want them all in because yep. it will correspond on my testing that I've got. So I was a kitchen ring, oven, garage, and all the rest of it. So you just work your way through. Mm -hmm. So what I want is, so on your kitchen ring, what, what ampage am I going to look for on that? Uh, can you remember? So if I've got 60, 16 amps on a radial, yeah. what am I going to have on a on a ring? On a ring, 32, isn't it? Yeah, 32. Oven, garage, 32s. 32. And then 16s for, for this until you get to your, your lighting, okay? Yeah. So start with your 32 amp RC boat. Sorry, I'm not facing the camera. This is just a, the way it is. So what we've got on here, these are all 16. Where's my, where's my 32s? So I'd stand those that way. Yeah. So on these RCBOs, you've got your, I don't know whether you can see that very well because the lighting is a little bit shocking, but you've got your 32 amp breaker. So, so what I would do is click that in. You need to cut that tag off. Mm -hmm. And then what I would do is try and dress it down. So you might want to hold all the cables up and then feed feed your flying lead through underneath yeah. okay and then obviously one is one two is two three three and all the rest of it yeah following on mm -hmm. so so that that being said so once you've got all those in then you can get your buzz bar in across and it's very important making sure you actually get those in correctly but what i would do first is get these these uh gas and water bonds out of the way now i have marked them up so g's yeah. for gas w for water so what I would do is dress them in neatly, so try and match all your, your swoops there. Mm -hmm. And then just right and so you can just put an M for so that's your so M for main. And then obviously G and, and W for gas and water, yeah? yeah? So get those in, get them out of the way, and then basically work your way through, put your blanks in, and then you can get your buzz bar in. Uh, and then you can get all this started stripping and um, and fitting them in. Have you? Did you do any research? Like I said, have no. you looked in advance? No. Okay, that's fine. So you? No, I just I didn't. I just like doing it how you do it. To be honest, I don't. I don't like really like change. See that? It doesn't like change. Just likes the way I do it. Yeah, Happy so that's, days. Well, just like, what? No, I didn't think it was a point. Because I looked. That's all right. So what that is? So what I said to Jack the other day. It, like I said, it's very tight space in here. Um, I said to Jack, look, have a look at some other YouTubers, and I've, I've mentioned some other YouTubers, and I said, like, you know, like the likes of Nick Bundy, um, Corey at Artisan, you know, that them sort of people, have a look. You might pick something where you actually, I want to try it that way. Can I do it that way? Yes, that's fine. Have a go. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not that precious to say that it's got to be 100% my way is the right way, and that's the rest of it. Jack might might want to do it a slightly different way as in dressing the cables and that's fine so he can carry on and have a go at those so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave jack to carry on i'm going to leave this um i'm going to put this onto time lapse so hopefully you can see it but obviously it's a little bit awkward because of where it is i might move the camera position um so you can see it a little bit better um, but yeah, are you okay with that, Jack? Did you yeah. crack on? So, like I say, for me personally, I've tested everything bar two circuits, which is what I'm actually on now. I'm not just going to leave Jack to it completely. Um, I'm just going to be coming in monitoring, but I don't really want to be touching anything of that. I want Jack to do it. All right, that's the plan. Happy with that? Yeah. Cool. Let's get cracking. <laughs>
So, so as you've seen, um, Jack's been cracking on with that. So I'm gonna go in, have a bit of a closer look to see whether there's anything that I need to advise him on or not, because I don't know, I haven't looked at it. So I'm gonna wait for Jack to jump out of the way. You know, he's like a bit of a, bit of a hogger, isn't he? Give him one little task and he's, he's hogging it. Come on then, Jack, let's swap over. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look. Okay, okay. So with that, Jack, you can put your uh, two blanks in, which, yep. are, which will be there. You can put those in, then that'll hold it all in place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good, mate. Yeah. No wrong with that. And like I say, when the more as you go along, you'll you'll be able to dress these in. Yeah. And just try and keep your your loops uh, fairly. Uh, consistent on that sorry sorry not for talking to you either um so just making sure that none of your because obviously we'll talk all these up or, have you already talked these up yet no, or are you gonna are. yeah do it all at the end that's what i do i do it all at the end yeah. uh and then and then i can just change all the um settings in one go don't forget to put your your earth um yeah these two yeah bonding a lot going on in the old noggin at the minute there's loads and loads of stuff coming on um so yeah so if you don't forget to get those in they might be like i say you're doing a good job mate so i'll leave you to it i don't need to really keep mithering you so what i might do is change the position and have it down here so you can see from a different angle what jack's up to yeah you crack on good job doing a good job the so yeah, just obviously as you're doing it, just make sure that you don't have any copper exposed yeah. and stuff on there, which is that's fine, that's all good. And then you'll get, um, we'll put all the sealant and stuff in, but yeah, just tuck the excess down as, as, you, as you know anyway. Mm -hmm. Cool, all right. <laughs> So Jack's been a busy boy, as you've seen. So, right, how do you think that's gone, Jack? I think it's gone quite well, to be honest, my first one. So that's where we're at at the minute. So it's unfair to say that's finished just yet because it's not. I just wanted to have a little chat with Jack to see how he feels about it. So anything that you would have done differently or, um, or Things you're not happy about, or or anything like that. To be fair, I think I've done quite. Considering it's my first one, I think I've done all right. To be fair. Good, good. About your constant concentration level. Oh, uh, I've never. I don't think I've ever concentrated this long, ever. See, so it's, it's uh, a bit trickier than you think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. glad you've you've had a go? Yeah. I've been. To be fair, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Yeah, I've gone for a while. It's. What satisfying as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is satisfying to to get it all sorted. It's it's one of those jobs, isn't it, where you it's important for you to get hands-on experience in doing it because if you don't, then when he, when when is the best time to start it? You know what I mean? It's mm. it's one of those where you you've got to you've got to start at some point. So why not on on this one? Like I say, it's it's perfect job really. It's a nice height where it is. Um, a bit awkward underneath here, but like I say, it's nice workable height, isn't it? That. Yeah. So, like I say, that's not too shabby, mate. Gotta be honest. Sorry for the flicker in the light. Yeah. So what? So what Jack will do after all? all my, after he's put all the cables in is then Jack will go round with the, the Torx screwdriver and start how I normally do it and what Jack will do as well is you start with your highest torque setting so on, on these fuse box boards 
is 2.5 newtons so you, you you smash through all those get all those uh, tightened up in one go and then you drop drop them down to two newtons which is all your main main um, earthing terminal neutral bar and all that lot and then it drops down to 1.2 uh, which is actually uh, for all I don't know whether you can see that very well um, but it's actually 1.2 on your well, you can see that there I'm not sure um, for all your RCBOs are actually 1.2 newtons which is is quite low but that's ultimately is what the um, manufacturers <coughs> excuse me specify so that's what it is that's what you, it's, you've got to do it to that so I will leave Jack just to finish that off uh, and then I will I will jump in and uh, stand right in front of it and we'll go through some pros and cons with it and we'll see whether he's done a good job or whether I've got to strip it all out and start all over again let's hope not Jack, am I going to have to strip it all out? I hope, I hope not. I hope not too. Right, so let's have a little inspection on Jack's work. Um, so, let's see if we can rip it apart. So a bit of a shadow going on, so I apologise. Um, how do you think it went, Jack? I think it went well. That's good, mate. To be fair, the only thing we've got to do, which which is not actually Jack's fault at the minute, we've got to put some um, sealant in the back there and, and there, but so that's fine. So what we'll do with those, we'll just move those out of the way and then fill it all up, but that's not nothing to do with Jack. Um, so like I said, we'll just rip through all the torque, torquing all those up. Um, so how do you think it went, Jack? Well. Well, you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, it quite smooth, I didn't really have any any issues any that you, issues? you no, think of either. that perhaps should have been different way or no no sometimes I struggle getting these through there yeah enough for now but then yeah it's I mean fine, really. it's like these little bits here you can you can push those down yeah. a bit more but the further you get down this end the less cable you have to to work with uh, on the Hager ones when you get down to the far end that's it. It, it is literally just enough to get in there and I think uh, I'm not the only one that's brought that up uh, on on their videos to be fair as well so definitely food for thought on there so yeah so I've, overall Jack looking at that make sure they're all okay yeah really good job mate I can't see any copper that's that's exposed on the top so like I say we'll we'll get all those torqued up and things but no, really good job, job Jack, well done. Uh, impressed with that. So the final job for, for that is just doing, um, I say, once we've all torqued all that up, made sure that's all good, we'll seal it all. And then we've just got the tails to to put in, in into uh, the meter, energize it, and then just do our live testing. So yeah, good, well done mate, that's a, a good job. So, right, let's come out. So yeah, so we're pretty much here on the, finished on the rewire now, we've just got to tidy up, uh, put a load of the other stuff, like there's just down lights, because I don't fit those while I'm testing up for obvious reasons. Um, so those little bits, so we're pretty much there. Uh, we've actually managed to steal Lewis for about an hour. I think that's all we had Lou for. So if you like the videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave your comments below. If there's anything that you've seen that Jack perhaps should have done it a slightly different way, we don't mind the comments, do we Jack? Nope. It's always good, every day's a school day. And like I said at the start of the video, it is sponsored by Tradeify, so I'll leave the link below. Um, go and check them out i highly highly recommend them it is such a good bit of bit of kit i will be doing a full video on it because just to show you how good it is so but yeah thanks for watching and i shall catch you on the next one cheers guys